All right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new stream. I hope y'all have been having a good day. I've had an okay day myself, but I'm hoping that everyone else here has had a good day. Woo. Uh, today, we're going to be doing another Pathfinder stream. And we are going to have a lot of fun. Everyone, this is the wagon. Wagon, everyone. <laughs> uh, sorry, a friend of mine just uh, joined a server right in for the uh, Lancer game. PC meeting after my stream. Dwagon, this is everybody. Everybody, this is Dwagon. <laughs> Why is that so fun for me to say? Alright. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> so, today, once again, it's just gonna be streaming some Pathfinder. Of course, Rice is a little busy. He promised a friend that he'd help him get a uh, touch of malice. And if I remember correctly, and. I just realized that I haven't done King's Fall, at, like, at all. <laughs> it's the problem when you never, when you haven't touched, uh, ugh. It's the problem when you haven't touched a game in, like, years, and, in, like, two years, and there's tons of content now. And this is just, unfortunately, what happens. I wish it didn't happen, but it does. I'm trying to remember what we, what we got yesterday in terms of gear. Protector of the Unjust. Oh, yeah, that needs to be evil. Or at least not, not, not a lawful good. Oh my dearest vest. How have we not put this on you already? Really? You're my bomb guy. You throw the bombs. Why do you not have the bombardier's vest on? People always ask me, why do I why do you blow stuff up? It's because I'm the bomb guy! That's my thing! <laughs> Blood fire fever. Oh god, why the fuck do they have blood fire fear fever? <laughs> What's that? Hmm. Ooh. More stuff. In due time. We got a few more things to take care of here before we properly move on. That was easy. Hold on. You see that? But take care of that, Octavia, if you would be a deer. I did as you asked. Thank you. I'm there. Oh, are all the trolls gone now? Are all the enemies gone now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god, I'm just thinking about a 
game of Pathfinder Kingmaker that I'm doing with a friend. It's on a bit of a hiatus at the moment due to scheduling BS. I've broken a nail. Someone has added me. Oh. Okay, that's a first. I did as you asked. That's a first in a while that you failed. Oh god, okay, and that's, um, that's worrying. That is very worrying. Guardy, I really do hope that your brother is alright. Like, you're going to ER, of course he's not, like, alright, but you, you get what I mean. I hope he ends up fine. So where the fuck is the entrance to this bitch? It's over here. <laughs> it's over there. Oh, hell. oh, hey! At the ruined gates of, Tro of Tribald, you see Jason walking alone. Seeing you, he weaves his head. Hello, Borba. Why you come here? What are you doing here yourself? Or Jason lives here. Troll holds no more. But stone walls still stand. Plenty of space, plenty of food and woods, plenty of time to think. Tell me about yourself. Him? Another name before, like other troll. We hunting a Borba. Then Tarak came, talked to trolls. Explain how humans live. Jason not as smart as Tarak took. But Jensen saw humans live better. He didn't stop eating humans. So I'm washing his fur and brush his, his fangs. The trolls say Jason oh, was crazy. Now other trolls say no more. Only Jason left. Poor guy. Very well. You live a good life. You love yourself a good life, man. You deserve it. You can count on me. I'm off. Let's head down. Actually, that's a little closer. That's not even a way out. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I ate right before the stream, and it's, uh... <laughs> it's not, not like, disagreeing with me, but it's definitely not agreeing. Wrong. With the troll menace ended, all our woes were in the past, and there was nothing left endangering our young barony. <laughs> As if the true hardships were yet to come. Oh, that's not depressing. Hold on. Just for a moment, I need to bring him in. Because he wants to be shown this place. This is one of his companion quests. 
Also, a lot of companion quests are, like, really fun to do, but there's a few that aren't. Or at least, I was very confused by and didn't really like. And... Like, like, they're all really well made, no matter which way you look at it. They're all these companion quests are very well made. It's worse than I thought. Once his beard is, his eyes are full of suffering. Wars, where are you now? Why did you leave this fortress and let be defiled by monsters? Perhaps you were killed? And no one survived to tell your, mis your families of your fate. This is to you. Now see Crimson Red? This once proud fortress has fallen. All her inhabitants long gone. Death and oblivion wakes every person at the end of their path. Soon you and I will reunite in the internal happiness, too. Emptiness, too. Well, I don't look forward to... I'm not looking forward to the internal emptiness just yet. Your ignorance, cha your ignorance changes nothing. You won't... M miss the end of the path anyway. My aim is to make you ready for that. With Jairus' will. Let's move. God, the dwarves is actually Torg from Borderlands. <laughs> You're weak, or a uh, weak and pathetic. That... <clears throat> How could you? The gods of all dwarves, the great creator, being knocked down by a mere troll. Gods are not pathetic. Those who grovel at their feet and beg for charity, then cry when they receive no crumbs from the divine table, on the other hand. Also, how could the dwarves put their trust in you? A traitor god. How can you protect how can you protect your people? You're incapable of defending even yourself. You infuse the reason the consequence. Torag's worshippers left this pace this place. Their faith doesn't empower Torag anymore. So he has no need to protect his fortress. He opens his mouth to eject, but apparently didn't find a good argument. Finally gives up and said, You are so blind, Crimson Red. His own statue of Torag. What? His own statue? What does Torag have to do with it? You're wrong, Crimson Red. It's not just any statue. It's a symbol. Faith feeds the gods, just like food nourishes our mortal bodies. And a symbol of the faith are, chan are the channels through which the gods communicate with the faithful. He grimly looks at the pedestal. The statue used to stand. Only stone of Torag's feet remain now. This symbol is destroyed. Therefore, Torag is weak, Crimson Red. If he could protect this place, he wouldn't allow for such desolation to happen. The statue is ancient, easy to break. Don't see any hidden signs that there aren't any. You are blind. How could this statue possibly be destroyed if Torag was not protecting this place? How could dwarves perish if Torag cared about them? No, Crimson Red. This place is an anthem for oblivion, victory over weakness, victory granting us one over Torag. Like, I get his perspective, but, like, nihilism isn't exactly a good thing, dude. Hmm. Like... 
like one one of the main things I don't really like about Harren or Harren is how negative he is. That's like the primary reason I don't like him. This finds him like way too negative for any anything other than him just being negative and I don't really like that. <laughs> I am I am a nihilist person is not really good to character in my opinion. Follow if you dare. But I do understand that this is just how his god expects of him. I understand that now. That's just what his god expects of him. It, but it still doesn't make what he says and does any better. To victory. Talking as if all life is meaningless. Which I do understand where he's coming from, and as a person who has lost his original faith and has gained another one. I just... It's hard to explain. And as far as I can tell, not many other people like him. For the exact same reasons. To be honest, he's only really in the party just for me to be able to have his, have him work some jobs. I did as you asked. Like if he wasn't the only person that I know of that can be able to do a certain thing, he would have been out of the party. He would have been kicked out long ago. Like his understanding of curses is actually really invaluable. Also, there's this part that I just hate. Here. I'm always ready. I actually remember when I first did this and how upsetting it made me. That's just been the wind. Also, a thing with uh, me with Foundry. Oh, hello. An ancient anvil. Can it... Can it still work? I can't believe his own eyes. He reaches to the anvil, touches it with care. Fiery sparks flit dangerously close to his beard. It's beautiful. Dwarf seems... smiles happily. You see, not everything's bad after all. The anvil's still operational. What do you say now? Pass the anvil gently. Without any fear of its heat. Once I dreamed of working with a furnace like this. Like that. I gave Ost to Torak that I'd craft hundreds of suits of armor so that my hammer would be tireless. Oh, that was so long ago. He rids his gaze from the fire and turns towards you. The very, well, the very existence of this anvil is miraculous and unnatural. So much suffering and sorrow surrounds us, and yet, here, hope? It shouldn't be like that. It is wrong. Just wrong. Arm turns towards the ground, glares at the anvil with hate in his eyes, as his fist. Get me a strength. Restore righteousness. The strong blow with the fist to the anvil's base. <laughs> Thank you. 
that that makes me mad Harum you just destroyed an ancient magical artifact that to be honest is you destroyed an ancient magical artifact that was still operational even after hundreds of possibly not thousands of years of disuse and you destroy it. The glowing light dims for a moment. A, ru a dull rumble seems to start at the base of the anvil. The ground, the sound grounding steadily louder and finally with the whole room with a deafening roar, you, can, you could swear you hear the maddening laughter of a gutteros at, in his, in his roaring. Or maybe it was Harum's own laughter. Anvil's tr the anvil triples and suddenly falls apart as they're trying to catch up with time, the rest of the fortress in its state. I don't want to be upset with you, my friend, but you are such an idiot. And twirls her fingers near her temple. That was awesome! When you learned to bring cast iron with your bare hands, you're so strong. Why do you destroy the an this anvil? Doesn't Jonas encourage destruction now? Why do you destroy this anvil? Does Jotos encourage destruction now? I've always believed that Jotos does not destroy. He waits until the end comes to everything in this world. I've done what I had to do. This anvil should have been destroyed long ago. I just restored rightness. Righteousness. Righteousness, yeah. I just restored righteousness. Aaron looks at you angrily, but his voice trembles with sorrow. I had to do it. It was so hard for me, Crimson Red. Almost as hard as living itself. I have some tears from his eyes. I shouldn't have come here. But I, what I did... What did I expect to find besides dust and de de decayed dust and ash? I... Forgive me, Crimson Red. Thank you for honoring my request and bringing me here, but now I wish we left alone. <sighs> because my thought process with that is primarily that we could restore this fortress. That this fortress could have been restored not only becoming a bastion for the kingdom or the barony, but also becoming a major forge. Imagine the magics, imagine the runecraft, and imagine the, the, the things that can be forged with a forge like that. An ancient dwarvish forge. I'll take care of it. One that probably hasn't been used in centuries. Yes. I'm still here. We should move. And it's just gone now. Like it never existed. I don't know. That just it just seems wasteful to me. Now, for now we return to the kingdom. This will hurt. Their life ends here. It's an average sized pit bull. Let us strike as one. <laughs> Valerie, y y you okay, hun?
<laughs> Once a girl told me my eyes light up her world. I said that the blessing of Seren Ray will light up her soul. She seemed disappointed. <laughs> Something bothering you? Oh, dear Lord. I need to catch my breath. Right, let's see what this is. Oh god! Manticores! Oh, time to get some rest, isn't it? Don't worry, we'll have some rest in a moment. Mom, I want some rest. We got rest at home. Home, honey. Rest at home. Ooh, wow, that was a good neck pop. May we have a moment of respite? Yeah, let's rest. <laughs> the more I travel, the more I'm sure. True nobleness is not inherited. Every other smug dimwit with a Marquess title has worse manners than his horse. <laughs> I mean... Go on. <laughs> Time to get some rest, isn't it? Hello. Valerie enters the throne room. Fiercely stabbing her heels into the floor, she approaches and stands right before you, staring with indignation. I would never have thought I'd commence my career as regent with such a case, but the leader of a local gang is at your gates and has brought a chest stuffed with stolen goods he wishes to share with you. To the new land of the stolen, new lord of the stolen lands. I insist that this impugnant man be immediately arrested and brought to justice. Your lands have a long and dark legacy. Your subjects fail to grasp that the time of cutthroats and extortionists and extortions are over. The laws rule here now and henceforth. You will not protest these bandits protect these bandits as a stag lord did. Rest this banner and clasp him in irons. The same fate awaits anyone like him. Okay, your origin. Orders with pleasure, Crimson Red. Yeah. Well, that's the first. That's what I didn't expect to be the first thing I get when I get home. Get home from killing killing those people. Um, mysterious weed. It's the weed man. It's the weed. Start with that. General. Great agreement, I still need to earn enough GDP. Research into natural cause, the village. Uh, we don't have the position unlocked, unfortunately. Oh, 
regions. Ah, both are currently busy. Start start the claims. Main thing is that we don't have enough funds. Oh, hello. A young dwarf in worn out clothes shows up with a scroll of fine paper and an expensive seal. Greetings, my name is Dargon Wardash. I come to you, Your Grace, with a request, or more precisely, receive compensation. The road of shields used, used to run through your lands and was built, amongst others, by my ancestor, members of the War Dash clan. This means that they still own it, even though they were driven from these lands according to all law. If the bandit takes my father's house and kills him, the house still belongs to me, so I've come for what's mine. Here, take a look. The school contains a list of expenses for building of the shield, road of shields. Ancient trade route built centuries ago by dwarves of the Five Kings Mountains. Since the departure, the roads have deteriorated. Thick grass has grown between the cobblestone, and as one time, willing the stone draining and cutting fire breaks and so on, human people have lived for a long time on the lands that lawfully belong to my people. Making free use of the fruits of everyone else's labor. Will you please pay for the work that my ancestors did? I demand compensation for those who are no longer able to collect. <laughs> Do not ask for gold. Better that you give me a, sh a house with a shop, which will cost as much as the sum in the scroll. You see, I'm a blacksmith, and I used to earn my living honestly, but I can't work at without a shop. As soon as I get what's mine, I'll open the shop right away, then you'll at least have one decent blacksmith. <clears throat> okay. Okay, Mr. Dwarf. M Mr. Dwarf. You come into my house! <laughs> into my barony. Though I understand. The lands on which my barony now resides were once your people's. That is been made very clear. And I very much do understand that. <laughs> I very much do understand that that is a thing. That these are your people's lands in the past. As far as I know, at least in terms of lore, your king, the Five Finger, the Five Kings Kingdom, you know, the Five Kings Mountains doesn't exist anymore. Actually, hold on, let me look that up. Oh wait, I'll I'll just ask Rice later. But as far as I know. And all you're demanding is a shop and a, a shop and a house. I... Fine. You agree. Just like that. Seriously. I never thought I'd meet in this land of thieves a ruler who honored the law. You're truly a worthy leader. Well, then I guess I'll meet you in... When, when you satisfy my, my respects. I just, sir, you walk into my house, the man thinks that are mine. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I am so fucking joking. I don't have anyone who can research the scythe tree, unfortunately. And that actually makes me mad. I need Arcana. I. How do I gain Arcana? 
I, I have eight arcana. I, I have eight of it. I don't have any idea how to use it. I have no idea how to use it, that's for damn sure. Oh, hey, Storyteller. Uh, I have something for you. I brought some relics. Oh, man. Alright, so a Torai. Children of Stun wear such pendants for protective talismans. I have such as these. Some more dryad coins. A few dog tags. Tell the story of the same anvil. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Let's continue. The yeah, Bronze Shield Fortress of Sound Sleep. Save for a blink, you have a, a bong, single bonfire. No one knows of the blasphemy about to commit in the heart of the fortress. Push down the door, the smithy, and I fear the door squeals of protest will wake everyone. But silence quickly returns, so I take a step inside. I stoke the fires and don my smooth steer smeared apron. Long have I dreamt of the anvil. It calls to me, and a lowering voice captivates me. It's the first stroke. <laughs> Wrong. Did I, when did I make a mistake? The anvil. It won't sing. It moaned under my hammer. Instead of sweet music, I heard cries of pain begging me to stop. I clenched my teeth and struck again and again and again. I will make it work. I will. It will sing for me, even if I must torture it to do so. The moans of the anvil become monstrous rumble. I can't stop. The smithy door swing open. A master Danzo stands before me. This heel and furious. He screams and curses at me, but I do not hear them. The metal of my work crumbles under my handle, and I can't see it. My eyes are blinded, blinded by tears. Jesus Christ. What happened to the anvil after that? What happened to him? He, he left. Hung his apron on the hook and tossed away his hammer and tongs. Left Bronze Steel Fortress. Deep into it, his heart. New boss was rattling along. Sam would never create a masterpiece. Hard work is a poor substitute for inspired talent. Long turned his eyes to Don Dunsker. Very deity, very limited followers amongst the surface dwelling people of Gorion. Who makes it sufficient toil leaves eventual success? Huh. Huh. The god of the uh of the dark dwarves accepted his new follower. He gave me shelter and provided him with unceasing, tire, tiresome work. Work that required no talent, but endless routine. He crafted weapons for the Danger army. Nobody accepted masterpieces of him. He soon forgot all about the Searing Palm. As for Duroff, the he committed. And it seems to me that there, the Dark Tunnel serving, he found happiness. Thank you. That was quite the amazing story. Oh, uh, actually, hold on. I need to quickly enter. I need to build this guy's thing, I think. Put a shrine here.
Do I even have the ability to place a windmill? No, I don't. Oh, wait, I already do. I already have a windmill. It makes sense to put down a granary. Or a granary. Alrighty then. Alright. So I can't research the scythe tree yet. That makes me disappointed, but eh, what can you do? Square. I'm gonna be going dungeon delving. For sure. Yeah, head over to that dungeon, I'm gonna do it. Oh god, I will be right back everyone. I need to go use the bathroom. Oh, hey! Oh, that boy! That boy, what are you doing? The trunk has escaped!
Alright, I have returned. And I just found out how bad the new Velma show is. I have I haven't watched it yet. I don't plan on watching it. Because that show, from what I saw, alright, I haven't even I watched a trailer. I have I have decided to sit down and try to watch the first episode of it. And I couldn't. I could not sit down and watch that show. And you wanna know what I just recently found out about the new Scooby about the Velma show? That they turned Scooby Doo into a woman that beats Shaggy! Scooby Doo is no longer a talking dog! Alright? Scooby Doo is now a woman, a human woman, who dates Shaggy and is also a food reviewer. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, I understand you don't have to give, like, the Scooby Doo that I remember from my childhood, or that I grew up with. But what the actual hell? Apparently, apparently, according to the writers and like animators and all that shit, they thought a talking dog would be too comedic, or would be too comedic for what they were trying to write. And I'm just sitting here like, Scooby Doo's a comedy. I, I'm just, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just sitting here trying to process all the fucking information that I have right now of the Velma show, or Velma, or whatever the fuck they're calling it. Alright, I'm just sitting here with this, forbid, with this knowledge that feels like it should be forbidden. This feels like forbidden knowledge that I... I... I don't fucking know. I like to see your goods, man. I, I'm just gonna be offloading all my shit onto you as I'm going on a rant about what the fuck. <laughs> so that, that's my primary thing. Of looking at uh, Gibby Do right now is okay. What the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah, I'm just sitting here looking at this information. I was already skeptical about this show because of the new designs. Like granted, I'm like I'm I'm willing to let I'm willing to try out new designs for characters that have existed for a while. I'm willing to let I'm willing to see new designs because you never know when when a new design will actually work a lot better than old designs. So long as it's faithful to the original in my mind, I don't mind new designs. <laughs> but these New designs for the Scooby Doo crew are horrible. Like, full on. Just. <laughs> I, I just look at these designs and wonder who the fuck designed these? Where is their house? Is immediately where my thought process is. Where the fuck is the, the these fuckers' location? Because because I'm just sitting here, looking at the at the shit, wondering, thinking, okay, yeah, no. This is the worst fucking timeline ever. 
we are legitimately in the wor in the worst timeline. And it actually makes me sad. The thing is that, like, uh, specifically, like, I really do like Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is a thing that I grew up with for a long time. And it's something that I loved for a long time with all my heart. But over the years, me at, with me even watching not only the old original series, but also watching newer versions of the show and even checking out, even checking out some of the weird, obscure parts of Scooby-Doo. Now, take that in. I, I am willing, more than willing actually, to sit down and enjoy a different version of a show that I love. Alright? Keep, just keep that in mind. From everything that I have seen from not only the first episode, but also the second episode of Velma, I am legitimately wondering what kind of crack are, the, are these writers on and where can I get some? Because I am unbelievably impressed with how bad this show is. It's just... I'm just sitting here wondering, like, what kind of series of unfortunate events led to this? What series of unfortunate events led not only to our pe not only to us discovering, not, that not only led to this this entire last like two years roughly like no three years at this point Jesus Christ this last three years all right and on top of all that this year just already being weird as all hell such as D and D killing itself yeah now I'm not against. Like, uh, the thing is that it is that Watsi or Wizards of the Coast is pulling a uh, is pulling a GW trying to get more money and they're going after the third party developers you know the people basically responsible for a majority of the game's popularity Yeah, that's gonna go over well. Uh, I just I just really do wonder what was going through their heads when they designed that. I, I legitimately want to know what was going through their heads at the time because I swear it will. It, 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 Anyways, anyways. So, one thing I will say that I would love for a Scooby-Doo series. Not something new. Not something we've never seen before. Not something like, oh, we've never seen something like this before. Ooh. No. Why don't we go back to a series that we know people liked? For Scooby-Doo. A series that I enjoyed, and a lot of people also enjoyed as well. Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. You know, that cartoon. It was on Cartoon Network for like, what, two years? That, that version of Scooby-Doo or Cartoon Network that was actually really good. Had a full, like, I think two or three season of runtime. And in my opinion was brilliantly written like yeah it got a little weird but all scooby-doo gets weird like a lot of the time we're expected to believe a little a little guy is able to fit in a fat man costume or, or a lot of the time we're led we're led to believe that a fat guy can can squeeze into a tiny ass costume 
Like, j just think about that. Ugh. Fuck, this kid is weird. This year's just been weird. Hello, you're the wagon! The silver dragon stares at you for a long time, unblinking. Maybe it's just a trick of the light, but you think... You think... You see a heavy mercury teardrop roll from its pearly eye. You have answered my call. Protector of Galorion. Galorion. I will have you know, no one has ever returned from these caves of lives. Many valiant heroes before you have sacrificed their lives to bring victory one step closer. They have not forgotten their feats. No, nor will I forget yours. Who are you? What do you want to know? I will hide nothing from you. Who are you? I am Zurex, Zelrian, loyal servant of Aspir. Thousands of years ago, my god appointed me to watch over this place. Where, where deep in the depths, there hides a great evil. I knew it once, once the repulsive smell of the beast, or the beast, the great destroyer and the world breaker, Destruction, destroy creation, other gods. Isn't in a state of torpor somewhere deeper than Galerion. Incre increasingly restless shriekings are taken by many to be set acti cause the activity, cause of activity and earthquakes. His worshippers are known for embodying the gods and over destruction, disaster, and wrath. It took me centuries to locate the egg it, that he left. All this time, I stood here, stood guard here, looking for a way to destroy the spawn before it hatched and brought miserable suffering to those who dwelt in this land. Asper, who's that? Cast a fairly skyward glance. Oh, Asper, he is the most more ancient than all the gods whose names you know. He is the maker of all. Who stands at the origin of the multiverse? Few mortals remember him. We metallic dragons still praise him in our prayers. It suggests me, are you really sad? So many heroes have passed here. Noble souls of Galerion, selfless protectors of their homeland, ready to sacrifice their lives to save it from the spawn of the beast. I remember each and every one. Stringing. Striding fearlessly down into the darkness, but none of them have returned. It's all my fault. Where's his head? True repentance can be heard in his thunderous voice. I made a mistake, and they paid dearly for it. You see, I never understood the true nature of the monster. For many years, I and the heroes who answered my call would wa call oh, wandered these dungeons. Thinking the monster's lava was the greatest threat. But only when I found the egg and touched the shell did I realize Spawn had turned into the entire dungeon into its nest. Madness, mortal. Darkness, madness are the monster's sword and shield. It's food and material that it shall be made of. Heroes and I, the heroes I summoned here descended into madness. They lost their minds and the spawn of the beast fed upon their sanity. Somehow, I avoided the same fate. They went down into the darkness, driven by noblest of intentions, rewarded only with eternal torment. What are you doing here? I am guarding the spawn of Gorgon. that sleeps in the caves beneath us. I summoned heroes to try to def defeat it. It was a long and joyless vigil, but I believe that it will one day be over. Perhaps you are the hero who will finally achieve 
this long-awaited victory. Thank you for the answers. What do you expect of me? An egg laid in the abominable regard of has cursed this dungeon for thousands of years. The larvae of the beast have destroyed half of the river kingdoms if it hatched. The shell that surrounds it is a labyrinth of madness, darkness and madness, had by thousands of its former victims. Hundreds of heroes perished as they sought it a way through it. But now I am here and the egg know where the egg is. The path is most clear, almost. It blocks the way to the monster. That was the saddest and scariest part. The spawn of the beast fed on nightmares and its very shell is made of madness. The caves surrounding are filled with insanity. It flooded them with oceans of darkness which distort the very nature of the multiverse. Heroes who approach grow mad and perish in, with, in great suffering. This gives the egg its strength. The monster feeds on their terror and panic. Neither alive nor dead, but tormented eternally by those by the worst nightmares. These brave heroes still wander the labyrinth. Find and destroy four of the strongest, the power of the beast's madness will weaken. Then, I'll be able to crack open the shell. We must destroy the monster before it hatches and grows stronger. The Fallen Princess, the Wary Traveler, the Wicked Cantor, and the Captor. And the Captor and his horrifying slave. Whatever unto them peace and path will be the enemy will be opened. What can you tell me of the Fallen Priestess? Her name is Tino Shimaka. She Shima. She led a party of adventurers here, the noblest heroes and the truest friends. Together they defeated many foes. But they never faced anything like this. You know, once served Misha. Then this brave and wise woman recognized how disgusting her patron was. Driving the strength to leave her service, finding shelter in the hands of Tisman. Lastly, she called the Mistress of Insanity for a reason. Lavin tricked Toko's mind and stole her his soul from her dementia's protections. Then next her reason failed, she returned to Lumunia and sacrificed her friends to her cruel mistress one by one. For a son she has looked in the depths seeking new gifts for her mistress. Alas, the last embers of good in her soul have long faded. She has become a monster, and the beast consumed her utterly. I... I see. I have needed some supplies, of course. But forgive me, my treasures are not endless. I cannot provide you with free supplies. If you acquire the aid of a priest, select a scroll, and I will read it for you. Be careful. Down in the labyrinth, you are on your own. You don't go into death without a servant or higher forces in your party. Alright. Let's see what we got. Uh, hold on. Let me double check what Mithril does. Kingmaker. I'm more than like steel. Uh, oh, it's true as one class lighter. Huh. I think they'll stick with adamantine because of the damage reduction it gives. Right. 
Hmm? There appears to be a skeleton here. How did this be covered in names with forgotten, long forgotten heroes? <sighs> this place is weirdly sad, but at the same time hopeful. And so taking on you. And I actually think this party would actually do pretty well. On a sky. A bulky fellow with the shaved head studies you closely, paying special attention to your equipment. He grins. Oh, friends. Do you, do you want to look at... Do you want to look your finest and the best wares and the fairest praises? Uh, sure. What you got? Okay, leather up to... Uh, Steal stuff, really. Ooh, false alive. That's actually pretty good. Eh, not right now. So I'm going to be making a hard save right here. For this, I'm going to be going in completely blind until, until Rice is able to do one of these sessions with me. I'm going to be going as far as I can into this thing. Um. Okay. This is a interesting looking place. Oh god, he has an army of rats! Oh god! This strike, my masterpiece! It actually was this pass I thought it'd be. <laughs> I'm off. I just saw the swarms of rats and thought, oh no! <laughs> I definitely overreacted I'm there, but still. Oh, there's a door. Done and done! I believe I found something. I did as you asked. I shall end this suffering. <laughs> Running 
Oh, God. 